Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2s. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect Turtle Beach Stealth 500 to PS5. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, if you're wondering how to exactly connect your Turtle Beach Stealth 500 here to your PS5, well, in this case, it's actually pretty easy, but there are a number of things here that you need to consider. So first things first is you need to have the correct version or the correct type here for the Stealth 500. 500 headset. Now the thing with Stealth 500 headset here, since again it wanna it, it actually wants to cater to different uh, devices out there or platforms. So that includes Xbox, PlayStation, even a PC. So the thing with this one is there's actually two versions of the Stealth 500 headset here. So they have the Xbox version and this play, uh, PlayStation version here. Now the thing with this one is if you want to use this on your PS5, you need to have the PlayStation version, which in this case should have a Bluetooth, uh, in this case, uh, Bluetooth or wireless uh, USB alongside with it, which you can actually use it to connect to your uh, PS5. Now, the thing with this one, if you have the Xbox version, you won't be able to use it because, again, it's a fully different, it's a whole different uh, platform. So, again, if you have an Xbox version, you won't be able to use it on your PlayStation. But if you do have a PlayStation version of the uh, Cell 5 wire headset, you should be able to connect it. So, how do you exactly connect it? So, this is directly from the support page for, um, uh, from Turtle Beach. And in this case, um, how do you set it? So first things first is you want to get your devices. So like what I said before, it actually comes with a wireless transmitter or like a small USB alongside with your headset. So you want to take that and you just want to plug it into one of the USB port on your PlayStation. Now, in this case, once you've connected it, you want to just power on your headset. And from then on, it will start the connection process. So you might see your headset actually start blinking. And also make sure your headset actually has enough charge when you're doing this. But in this case, you can go ahead and just basically wait for it. Now, also, also, a successful connection here is indicated by solid green LED on the USB wireless transmitter. So you may want to look out for that and see if it's actually uh, like in solid green. But usually speaking, that should be it. So in some cases, if you can still use your headset here, so it might or your PS5 might not have uh, correctly set uh, your audio settings here. So you may want to go to your settings on your PS5 and change your like your headset and also your microphone to start using your Stealth 500 here. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.